Take a moment to consider, could your daily routines actually be weakening you instead of strengthening you? Today, we're going to delve into seven habits that stealthily drain your strength in your lifestyle. Drawing from the profound wisdom of Stoicism, we'll uncover how these habits may be quietly undermining your power and, more importantly, how you can transform them. So, what are these debilitating habits and what steps can you take to reclaim your strength? Stay tuned until the end of the video to discover life-transforming insights. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, ensuring you won't miss out on more content that could revolutionize your life. Habit 1. Seeking external validation, a stoic perspective. What if the real treasures of life lie not in the material possessions we accumulate, but in the inner strength and character we develop? Stoic philosophers teach that the essence of life is found beyond external successes, in the cultivation of internal virtues and character. Overvaluing external possessions, money, status or the approval of others can lead to fleeting satisfaction and profound disappointment. Like bubbles on the surface of a river, these external rewards are fragile and transient. However, Stoicism teaches us to prioritize internal values and character, which stand firm like unyielding rocks in the riverbed. By focusing on our internal values, we reduce the impact of external factors in our lives. This shields us from the allure of external success and guides us toward true fulfillment found in nurturing our unique talents and reinforcing our inner virtues. External rewards then become byproducts of our internal journey. They do not define us or determine our happiness. Discovering and living according to our internal values not only enriches our own lives, but also positively influences the world around us. Remaining true to our internal values acts as a shield against the transience of external successes. Amidst the ever-changing conditions and unexpected storms of the external world, our internal values serve as a steadfast compass, guiding us on the right path regardless of the circumstances. Ultimately, while overvaluing external things may provide short-term satisfaction, true strength and resilience are obtained by discovering and living according to our internal values. External successes can be enjoyable aspects of life, but real happiness and fulfillment lie in the development of internal virtues, determination and character. Living according to our internal values makes us resilient against the fluctuations of the external world and transforms us into genuinely free individuals. This journey is not just an individual transformation, but also promises societal progress as the internal growth of each individual contributes to the elevation of society as a whole. Habit 2. Allowing others to control your emotions. Navigating life's challenges, such as rejections, criticisms, or misunderstandings, requires inner peace and balance. How can we maintain our inner tranquility amidst these external storms? Stoic philosophy suggests that the secret to emotional resilience lies in creating an internal balance, independent of external pressures. Stoics emphasize that true power and resilience reside in our thoughts and inner stance, not in the whims of the external world. As Epictetus reminded us, it is not events that disturb people, it is their judgments concerning them. This wisdom indicates that external factors can only affect us to the extent that we allow them, signifying that true power and resilience are hidden within us. Each rejection, criticism, or misunderstanding tests our emotional resilience and presents an opportunity to confront our inner strength. These challenging moments require us to delve into the origins of our emotional reactions, which are not a result of the external events themselves, but of our interpretations and responses to them. Thus, when we find ourselves feeling sad, angry, or disappointed, it's crucial to understand what we are truly reacting to, which internal beliefs or past experiences are being triggered. This mindful awareness empowers us to manage our emotional reactions more effectively. 
Emotional resilience is not about denying or suppressing our feelings, but about understanding, accepting and expressing them in a healthy way. This process allows us to experience our emotions more consciously, making us more understanding and flexible in our responses. Often, the discomfort caused by others' actions or words stems from our own past experiences, fears or internal belief systems. Recognizing and, if necessary, reshaping these internal thought structures is key to enhancing our emotional resilience and strengthening our inner power. Understanding and managing our emotional reactions not only make us feel better, but also positively impact our relationships, decision-making processes, and overall quality of life. Creating an internal sanctuary, a haven of tranquility amidst the chaos and variability of the external world, forms the basis of true freedom and independence. In conclusion, allowing others to influence our emotions is not just an underestimation of our inner strength, it is a form of self-limitation. In the light of Stoic philosophy, mastering our emotions, enhancing our emotional resilience, and achieving true freedom depend on our inner world, our thoughts, and our beliefs. By adhering to our internal values and balance, we can find an inner point of equilibrium amidst life's turmoil and external fluctuations, standing firm like a rock. This not only makes us more resilient and free individuals, but also generates positive change for society as a whole, as each individual's inner growth contributes to the overall well-being of the community. Habit 3. Retreating in the face of encountered challenges. In life's rugged terrain, each obstacle serves as a test of our perseverance and determination. How should we exhibit resilience in the face of towering challenges? Stoic philosophy teaches that enduring temporary hardships and remaining steadfast on our path to our goals is a crucial virtue when navigating life's tumultuous journey. As Stoics suggest, obstacles are part of the path and by overcoming them, you continue on your journey. This profound thought reveals that the challenges we encounter are, in fact, pivotal moments in our journey towards success. But how much does the resilience and determination we display in the face of challenges bring us closer to our goals? Each obstacle presents an opportunity to delve deeper into our character and fully leverage our potential. In confronting challenges, we not only surmount the obstacles themselves, but also uncover our own inner strength and resilience. This process not only propels us towards our goals, but also to new horizons of personal growth. Opting for perseverance and determination instead of succumbing to challenges epitomizes a stoic understanding of life's essence. Each challenge fortifies us, tests our will and shapes our character. In this journey, by pushing our own limits, we transcend ourselves and unlock our true potential. However, in overcoming challenges, it is essential to turn inward and discover the strength and patience residing within us. By creating an internal sanctuary, we find shelter against the storms of the external world and can navigate life's obstacles with more awareness and resolve. This signifies not just a personal victory, but also a profound internal transformation and maturation. In conclusion, the concept of giving up in the face of hardship highlights our determination and perseverance to overcome the obstacles we face, reflecting the profound insights of Stoic philosophy on this subject. Confronting challenges with resolve not only helps us overcome temporary difficulties, but also transforms us into stronger, more resilient, and more conscious individuals. Each challenge helps us find an inner point of balance amidst life's turmoil and stand firm like a rock. This not only makes us more resilient and determined individuals, but also creates positive change for society as a whole, as the inner growth of each individual contributes to the overall well-being of the community. Habit 4. Chasing the Perfect Moment 
In the flow of life, the allure of chasing the ideal moment is a hurdle many of us encounter. Often, this pursuit leads not to progress, but to stagnation and missed opportunities. Stoic philosophy highlights the importance of recognizing the value of action and the present moment, reminding us that life's unpredictable nature means there is no such thing as the perfect time. Seneca's words, while we are postponing life speeds by, underscore the notion that the power to change the course of life resides in acting now. It emphasizes that the perfect moment is merely an illusion and that life is meant to be lived by seizing each moment, not waiting. But what are the realities of life we miss while in pursuit of the ideal moment? Each instance of waiting for the perfect time essentially postpones a potential action, a step of progress, a learning opportunity, and a chance for growth. As time flows, each delay brought by waiting instills passivity, distancing us from our connection with our inner strength and weakening our self-belief. Stoic thinkers stress that nothing is more valuable than taking action and appreciating the moment. Seizing the opportunities within the present moment steers us towards genuine progress and personal development. Yet in this process, determination and patience are paramount. To break free from the inertia of waiting for the ideal moment and advance towards our goals, we must transform our plans into tangible actions. Each step, no matter how small, brings us closer to our objectives and reveals the power and satisfaction of taking action. This not only aids us in reaching our goals, but also opens a new chapter in our personal development journey. The challenges and obstacles we might face in this process are, in fact, opportunities that strengthen and mature us. Stoic philosophy teaches that every challenge is a chance to develop our character and enhance our inner resilience. As we overcome these obstacles, we get to know ourselves better, realize our potential, and explore the endless possibilities life offers. In conclusion, the inertia of waiting for the ideal moment leads us to remain idle and postpone the true potential of life. Guided by Stoic philosophy, by recognizing the value of every moment and acting in harmony with our inner strength, we can attain true freedom and personal success. Remember, each step amidst challenges and obstacles endows us with strength, resilience, and determination. Instead of seeking the awaited ideal moment, embrace the present. Become the captain of your own life and steer your personal growth in a direction that contributes to the overall well-being of society. Habit 5. Questioning the reasons behind every event. A stoic perspective on understanding life. Life is a chain of events and experiences, and many people believe that there is a specific reason or purpose behind each occurrence. This belief articulated as questioning the reasons behind every event, represents a quest for meaning in the face of life's complexities. However, incessantly seeking a reason behind everything can sometimes distance us from the natural flow of life and the beauty of the present moment. Stoic philosophers caution us that perceiving every life event within a cause and effect framework can lead to unrealistic expectations and delusions. As Stoics suggest, instead of opposing the flow of life, learn to be in harmony with it. This idea emphasizes the importance of accepting and living in harmony with each event, rather than constantly searching for reasons. Stoicism teaches that every event and situation has the potential to make us wiser, more resilient, and more empathetic. Questioning the reasons behind every event is an attempt to uncover the profound meaning and intrinsic essence of life. However, this quest can lead us away from reality and into the realm of illusions. Viewing every event we encounter as an opportunity for learning and growth directs us toward a more conscious and purpose-driven life. Every event is a lesson offered by life, a discovery, a journey inward, 
By deepening this perspective, we can view every moment and event in life as an opportunity for development beyond just understanding and acceptance. Stoic philosophy teaches that every event presents an opportunity to transform us into more resilient, empathetic and wise individuals. The concept of questioning the reasons behind every event not only encourages us to comprehend the causes of events, but also motivates us to uncover the potential within these events and live our lives more consciously and purposefully. In conclusion, Questioning the reasons behind every event reflects our quest for understanding amidst life's complexity and richness. However, this inquiry also necessitates harmonizing with life's natural flow and perceiving each event as an opportunity to grow wiser and more mature. This approach not only fosters personal development, but also generates positive change for society as a whole, as the inner growth of each individual contributes to the overall well-being of the community. Habit 6. Neglecting self-care, the art of allocating time for oneself in a sustainable life. In our work-oriented society, taking time for oneself, resting and rejuvenating can sometimes be more challenging than continually pushing oneself to the limit. However, neglecting self-care can harm our personal health and overall productivity in the long term. Stoic philosophy underscores the importance of preserving our physical and mental well-being as fundamental for maintaining a balanced and healthy life. As suggested by Marcus Aurelius, the quality of your life is dependent on the quality of your thoughts. This implies that a healthy mind and body are essential elements contributing to a high quality of life. So. In a context of relentless work pressure and the constant demand to be productive, how can we create space for self-care, rest and rejuvenation? The first step is to understand that allocating time for oneself is not an act of laziness or escape from productivity, but rather a necessary investment for sustainable productivity and quality of life. Rest should be viewed as a way to preserve mental and physical health and recharge, not as a source of guilt or a waste of time. Stoicism teaches that every aspect of life requires balance and moderation. Constant work and productivity can lead to burnout and a decline in creativity over time. Therefore, making time for oneself is an essential step in maintaining mental and physical health and coping with the challenges life presents. Recognizing that self-care actually enhances our overall productivity and quality of life allows us to see this habit not as a luxury, but as a necessity. In this process, we should ask ourselves, how can making time for self-care and rest positively impact my personal health and overall productivity in the long run? The answer to this question directs us to understand that allocating time for oneself is not merely a personal choice, but a fundamental part of maintaining a healthy and balanced life. In conclusion, the habit of neglecting self-care not only damages our individual health, but also negatively affects our overall productivity. Guided by Stoic philosophy, making time for self-care and rest should be viewed as a fundamental investment for sustainable productivity and quality of life. Remember, taking care of oneself not only preserves individual health, but also creates positive change for society as a whole, as the health and happiness of each individual contribute to the overall well-being of the community. Habit 7 placing ego above inner wisdom. Living a life driven by the need for approval, the compulsion to be right, and the desire to prove your worth can signify that you are under the sway of your ego. Stoicism advocates setting aside your ego to make choices that align with your authentic values instead of seeking external validation. As the Stoic philosophers counsel, True freedom comes to those who have freed themselves from the dictates of the external world. This emphasizes that genuine happiness and fulfillment are found beyond the narrow confines of the ego, in the realm of inner wisdom. 
How can we, amidst the complexities of life, transcend the voice of our ego and lead a life in harmony with our inner wisdom? The first step involves recognizing moments when our ego is at the helm and making a conscious decision to steer away from it. Moving beyond the narrow perspective of the ego allows us to see ourselves from a broader viewpoint and embrace the guidance of our inner wisdom. This transformation is not only personal but also contributes to societal progress as each individual's inner growth elevates the collective consciousness. The voice of the ego often leads us down the path of seeking external validation and trying to gain worth in the eyes of others. However, in the light of Stoic wisdom, living in alignment with our inner wisdom is the key to achieving true freedom and personal fulfillment. Acting in harmony with our inner values frees us from the limiting influence of the ego and allows us to discover our true selves. During this journey, we should ask ourselves, how can we live a life more attuned to our inner wisdom, overcoming the limiting voice of the ego? The answer to this question guides us towards a more conscious, meaningful and satisfying life, led by the wisdom that resides within us. Each step is a journey away from the confines of the ego towards the rich and profound world of our inner wisdom. In conclusion, failing to place an ego above inner wisdom is not just a sign of personal weakness but also a barrier to our personal growth. Under the guidance of Stoic philosophy, setting aside our ego to make decisions that resonate with our inner wisdom paves the way to true freedom, personal happiness, and societal well-being. Remember, transcending our ego and living in harmony with our inner wisdom not only preserves our individual well-being, but also fosters positive change for society as a whole as the inner growth of each person contributes to the general welfare of the community. Reflecting on how the habits we discuss today can impact your strength, can make a significant difference in your life. Don't forget to integrate this knowledge into your life to discover your inner strength and unleash your true potential. If you found this content helpful, please like and share to help us reach more people. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel for more tips and strategies to lead a strong and conscious life. Until we meet in our next video, take good care of yourself.